Pilates. Thank you for joining us today. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you all. Come on in. You're very welcome to play Pilates. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We hope you've had a lovely weekend and you're all ready to get moving. Do you mind, would you like to go and get the book for today? Welcome everybody. Good morning. Nice to see you again. So today, I know this always sends it back to front, doesn't it? Um, today we are doing the story called The Messy Magpie from Twinkles Originals, which is all about a magpie who maybe doesn't quite make some good choices, but he does it does turn out well in the end, doesn't it, Jemima? So if you're new to play Pilates, welcome. To, if this is your first time, well done for joining us. It's lovely to have you here. And um, there's a few things that we need to do. So Jemima, can you find your um, teddies for me? So children, whilst I'm talking to the grown-ups, do you want to go and find either your brother or sister or maybe get yourself some teddies to come and join in with um, your play Pilates? Um, so grown-ups, just a few things for you to remember today. Make sure that you are keeping your children safe. Make sure that the space is all clear, there's nothing to trip over. If you don't like anything that we're doing, you don't think it's right for your bodies, then you don't have to do it. You're very welcome to have a nice cuddle with the teddies or maybe talk about the story with your children. And last of all, don't worry about getting it perfect. We just want to enjoy moving our bodies and um, having lots and lots of fun together. Right, Jemima, are you ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready to get started? Have you got your mat space and have you got, your, got all of your um, teddies and everything? So what we'll do is we'll do our hello song and then we'll come back and say hello to you all. So if you want to comment and say hello to us, we'll give you a wave and we'll see you all in a second. So let's all get started with our hello song. Are you ready? Okay, so let's put the book there. So do you want to come and start here for me? That's it, perfect. Okay then. So if you haven't done play Pilates, we always start with a big hello song. So we're going to start by some big, big arms. I'm going to move very, very slightly, sweetheart, just so you don't knock your hand. And do some big, big sunshine arms. So when you're ready, say hello to the sun shining down on me. I love the sun because the sun warms me. Oh yes, I could do a bit of warming up today. It feels a bit chilly today here in Sheffield. So now we're going to grow into corn, aren't we? So shall we start as a little tiny seed? So Pilates is all about getting our bodies moving really, really well. So I want you to start small and grow tall. Are you ready? Say hello to the corn, growing just for me. I love the corn because the corn feeds me. Lovely. Right then, where are we going next, Shemar, with our song? To the stars! Lovely! Right then, big twinkly hands and big twinkly toes. Should we have a twinkly tummy now? Can you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your tummy? Mama, can you do a twinkly tummy? Oh, twinkly, twinkly, twinkly. Lovely. Okay, so off we go. Say hello to the stars twinkling down on me. I love the stars because they gladden me. Well done. And last of all, we need to say hello to each other. So let's pop our hands up above our heads and we're going to look around to see who's come today. Say hello to my friends standing next to me. I love my friends because they stick with me. Right then, let's say hello to everybody. Hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. Oh, Noah has Tigger with him today. That's amazing. Lovely to see you all. Well, we need to have a little bit of a, a snack, don't we, before we get going, don't we? We're going to have a little snack and get ready for our Pilates. What should we have today? Should we have some, maybe some porridge? Yeah. Porridge. Beautiful. Okay, right then, everybody, come and sit on your mat and you're going to need a nice big porridge bowl. So we're going to make that porridge bowl with our legs. So can you take one leg and the other leg and make your legs into a big scooping shape like this, like a bowl. Okay then, so now our porridge is on the stove and we're going to stir it. So let's hold on to our big spoon. Oh, Jemima needs some breakfast to wake up, doesn't she? Okay, let's stir our porridge. Let's see if we can all wake Jemima up this morning. You'll have to shout to her, won't you? Come on, Jemima. Wakey, wakey, Jemima. <laughs> That's it, big, big stirs. Can you stir the other way now? Make sure you stir all the way to the edges of your bowl. Mm. Now, it looks quite nice, but I think maybe we should add 
add something to it. Mm. How about some... Jemima always wants to add Nutella to everything. I think I'm going to go for some honey. So you add what you like. Oh, I'm going to squirt and some honey. Get, and we can get the whole tea and push it in. A whole jar of Nutella. Well, in play Pilates, you can add whatever mm -hmm. and however much mm -hmm. you like because your mummy and daddy can't stop you. I okay, know. so let's stir those in. Really big. Oh, that's smelling gorgeous. Now, you know what else I really fancy on top of my porridge this morning? Some banana. So I'm going to do some chop, chop, chop of banana. Maybe you want to chop some apple on top of yours or chop some berries or maybe some nuts. What do you like to have on top of your porridge? I mean, I'm just getting everything I can see. Everything. Okay, I think it's time for us to eat. So when you're ready, big scoopy spoon hands. Off we go. Scoop, 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 scoop. And again, if we go, scoop, 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 scoop. Om nom 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 nom. One more time. Scoop, 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 scoop. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm very, very full after all that. Is that tasty? Jemima is so hungry. She's tipping her bowl up. Should we have a go at that, everybody? We haven't done that before, have we? Let's tip our bowl up. Oh, there you go. I think it's better when you're six years old to be able to do that. Tip your bowl up. That's it. Tip your bowl up. Last one. Tip your bowl up. Oh, I think we got every last bit of that porridge there, didn't we? Okay, Jemima, do you want to grab the book? And we'll come over and we'll tell everybody a little bit about Morris. Oh, we've got some more hellos here. Let's say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi, Amelia and Amber. First time. Welcome. Welcome to play Pilates. I hope you have a wonderful time. Yes, um, uh, I hope this live will be saved. I could do my little one. Yes, it will be. And you can find all of our lives now on uh, YouTube, on Twinkle, um, sorry, thank you, darling, on Twinkle's YouTube page. We've got a whole area for fitness. What we'll do is we'll get one of the staff to link, put that link into the comments for you, or I'll do that afterwards. So you can go and do that later again. And there's all our workouts and all our Pilates we did before. Jemima's trying to eat the heart. Okay, I think we're all a bit giddy here this morning. Okay, so everybody, if you haven't met the Messy Magpie before, the Messy Magpie is called, there, there he is, he is called Morris. Here you go, Jemima, I'm just going to get you to step aside because I don't want to bop your nose with this book. So there is Morris, Morris the Magpie in his beautiful black and white and he's got this lovely slightly shimmery tail we have some big magpies that come into our garden don't we yeah we had one last that was like that big it's really big and it lands in our garden who have we got here oh hello good morning everyone morning georgina oh look toby and amber are here as well hi nice to see you guys so morris loves loves to collect things and you can see he's in his nest here and actually he goes off and he starts collecting lots and lots of things that maybe, oh dear, don't belong in his nest. So I thought the first thing we should do is make a nest. So I'll just say hello here to everybody. They are, oh yes, brilliant. Yeah, they'll all be safe for you. Hey Josh. Hey Emily. Hey Olivia. First time for you guys as well. Brilliant. Wonderful. Okay then, right then. Let's get on to our match. Look. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. You get to see our garden now. <laughs> I have to flip you back the other way. There you go. You don't want to see our garden, do you? <laughs> at, least the, at least the lawn's been mowed. Come on. <laughs> okay, then. Right, then. So let's meet Morris. Let's come down. Pop your feet underneath you, if you can. And we're going to find our women's first source. So can you just fold your hands out and get in like this? In and out, and just have a little look at these lovely wings that you've got. In and out, out and in like this. Out and in. Now, what you might like to do now is to lift those hands all the way up. Yes, I'm going to flip it back. Thank you. All the way up, and then all the way back down again. All the way up, and all the way back down. Lovely, beautiful wings. Okay, now, let's see whether or not we can take these arms all the way up and big, big sweep of those wings. And then come back down. Up we go, big sweep of those wings. And back down. Up we go, big sweep. Okay, now I think maybe we need to have a little tuck into our nest now. We don't seem to have much of a nest here, Jemima, do we? Shall we see if we can all build our nest? Now, Jemima, what things should Morris the magpie be making his nest out of? Sticks. 
sticks. He does and have a nest of sticks, but then he adds them. Yeah. Let's make a proper nest first. So up we come, and can you fly around and see if you can spot any twigs or maybe some moss? and some feathers, or anything that you think looks beautiful and perfect. Yeah, so when you see something, you might like to hover over it, That's and then silly. you can come and you can grab that twig and then fly off again. Can you have a go? Fly around, fly around, and then stop and hover balance. Can you balance Jemima? And then pick it up, and off you go again. Oh, have we got enough to make our nest yet? Yeah. Shall we, okay, pick up one more thing. There we go, balance, and pick it up. Okay, right then, come and sit down, and let's put all of our twigs, and all of our moss that we've got, and make our beautiful nest all around us. Well, this is absolutely lovely, isn't it? Beautiful nest. Now, Morris, though, like to go and find lots of things that maybe shouldn't have been in the nest. And do you know who leaves all the things for him? Humans, us! So all the litter and all the things that we drop. Morris thinks looks beautiful and he thinks they're like treasure and jewels that he wants for his nest. So when you're ready, can we find our wings again? So coming up and down. Now come up onto those knees and down. And again, up we go. Now we're going to have to fly off and find all those things. Up we go. Let's fly off with those beautiful wings. Do you mind stay over here, darling? All the way through. Flapping those wings. Oh. Now, let's see, what, Jemima, can you remember the thing that you first saw in the car that they threw out? What was it? A can of pop. A can of pop. So, now that's not going to be very light for Morris the Magpie, is it? So, can you bend down and can you pick up that big can? Oh, it must be very, very heavy. And let's fly back off to the nest. Yeah, down, down. All the way down. Come sit down, darling. All the way down into your nest. And then down we go, and let's put that there. Now, Morris didn't just find one bit of litter, he found loads of litter. So I want you to fly around, do you mind there, please? We're gonna fly all the way around and pick up lots and lots of things. And I want you to think about the things that maybe you've seen littered on the floor where you live. Maybe, let's come up with our wings, up and down to our knees. I see a bag and in a tree. A bag in a tree, so let's fly off. We're going to fly up high now, up to the tree. Do you mind please leave the lights alone? All the way up, all the way up. And then can you grab the bag out of the tree? And then fly back down to your nest and see if you can add that to your nest again. Okay, let's fly off again. Off we go, flying around and see if you can find something else. One more thing now. Mm, I think I can see a crisp wrapper down there, very crinkly and shiny. I know Morris would have loved it. Okay, let's go and find that. I'm going to balance, and I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to fly back to my nest. A box of jewellery. A box of jewellery? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's pop that into our nest. So Morris looks at his nest, and he is delighted. He thinks it looks amazing. But actually, the problem is, the more he collects, the more he has to share it out around the woods where he lives. And soon he's filled his woods with all his beautiful, shiny things. The only problem is, all the animals don't think they look all beautiful and shiny. Jemima, would you like to go and show everybody the picture of what the woods end up looking like? That's it. Oh, that doesn't look right, does it? It looks very very sad. And there's something else that's really sad. Yeah. Oh, and all the animals. They all look really sad as well. Okay, do you mind? Bring the book over here and let's, let's do something with that now. So we've got lots of beautiful animals, but they're very sad. So I want you to come and stand on your mat. And I'm not going to stand like we're trying to look beautiful. We're going to stand like we're looking very sad. Do you mind? Can you do a droopy... Droopy, droopy, oh, so sad. My beautiful woods look horrible, horrible. Oh, or again. Should we do droopy, droopy? Off we go, let's droop all the way to the floor because we're so sad that how our woods look. Now, not only do our woods look really sad, but like you said, the animals are sad. Now, what are the animals that you saw on that page? Um, there was a rabbit. A not? rabbit, okay, so let's do the rabbit first, Jemima. So first of all, can you do some hoppity, lippity, lippity, bunny hops? I'm going to move the little fox here out of the way. So I'm going to do hop. 
Now everybody, let's finish by being little shuffly hedgehogs. So down you come to the floor, pop your hands in front of you, and can you shuffle along like a little hedgehog? Oh, it's very slow being a hedgehog. Shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. But he kept going, he didn't give up, did he? He wanted to help tidy up his woods. Wow, and when they had finished, oh my goodness, wasn't the woods beautiful? And you know what? No longer did it look sad, but it looked beautiful. So and did Magpie's Nest. So did Magpie's Nest. Do you want to show everybody what it looked like? Oh, wonderful. That looked like a glorious place to be. So, let's all come here onto our mats. Are you going to come next to me? There we go. So let's be Morris in our nest. So your nest isn't full of rubbish anymore, it's full of lovely twigs that hold it together and gorgeous, soft, cosy moss. So I want you just to come into your nest now and let's just stretch our wings because after all of that, we're very, very tired. Are you joining in, Jemima? Big, big stretch. Oh, I think we're quite sleepy. So Jemima, you're going to come and lie down in your nest now. Let's lay next to your teddies, there we go and lay down into our nest. So you might like to fold, I'm gonna come here, maybe you'd like to fold your wings behind you. Maybe you'd like to come and lay on your side and have your wings out in front of you. And every so often you might like to lift your wings up and think about all of the wonderful things you've done with your friends. That's it. So children, do get comfy in your nest, that's it. And think about that beautiful woodland. And it wasn't beautiful at the beginning, was it? When Morris collected all that rubbish. It looked very, very sad. But with a little bit of hard work and everybody working together, you made it beautiful again. So I want you to close your eyes, cuddle your teddy, and imagine yourself in a beautiful woods. The sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and oh, doesn't it look wonderful? The trees are full of birds singing and you see bunnies hopping around. What a magical woodland it is. I hope you've all enjoyed your adventure with Morris today. We'll see you again on Thursday at nine o'clock and we're gonna be carrying on our adventure with Morris the Magpie. But this time we're going to be talking about our wonderful world and all the amazing things that grow in our world. Like beautiful flowers. Can you think of anything else that grows in our world that's beautiful? Mm. Probably like beautiful chicks. Yeah, so animals and trees and flowers. Lots and lots of beautiful things. So we're just going to come and say hello to everybody. Well done, Amelia and Amber. I hope you had a lovely time. Hello, Amelia and em oh, Olivia and Emily. Hey, Josh. Yeah, hey, Jemima. Oh, hey, Georgina and Anna. Hey, Mia. Well done, everybody. I hope you've all had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye now.